Okay guys, today I'm going to show you the series and parallel circuit and um, we're going to start with series circuit and then we're going to do parallel circuit and we're going to make a comparison between two and as you know that series circuit current is same across the circuit, parallel circuit voltage is of course the same across the circuit. What about the resistance? So the resistance in the series circuit, what happens if you increase the bulb, it decreases the brightness. On the other hand, the parallel circuit, if you increases the bulb, it increases the brightness because the resistance decreases. We will get to see all of these with these two examples. So let's start from here and I will make more space as needed so now let me start with this so I have the voltage 24 volt of course and the resistor 1 plus a 2 ohms resistor 2 is a 4 ohms and resistor 3 let's say 6 ohms so my goal is to make a series and and a parallel circuit parallel circuit so let's start with the series so this would be my series circuit we always start with a rectangle then put the battery symbol and then you have the resistor number one which is uh, as you see two ohms resistor number two and resistor number three resistor two is of course four ohms and resistor three is of course six ohms now what we're going to do next is the table so i'm going to create a table and i'm going to create it here so i have a bulb all right i'm going to have a bulb i'm going to have a v v and then i and then i of course and then the 24 voltage, don't forget that. So, bulb number one is right here, bulb number two is right here, and bulb number three is right here. And this is total. Now, I'm going to use the Ohm's law and the laws for series circuit to calculate, of course, the resistance. So, R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So that means R is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6, so 12, 12 ohms, business as usual. So 2 plus 4 plus 6 is of course 12, no problem. All right, now the next thing you do, you're going to use the Ohm's law. What does the Ohm's law tell us? VIR, that's what the Ohm's law tells us. Now, we want to find the current. As I said, the current is same in the series circuit. Current, same, same in the series circuit, across the circuit. Okay, now, this is the Ohm's law. Ohm's law tells us the current is V over R. What is our V? V is 24. So 24 over what is our R? Of course, the R we just calculated, 12. So the current is, of course, 2 amps. So, two 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 and two business is not as usual maybe it's kind of controversial but you're gonna get to hang of it two 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 why is that we can justify it in the series circuit the current is i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i3 that means in the circuit th the, the bulb three if the current is two the bulb two current is also two amps and the bulb one current is also two amps because the total current in the circuit is two amps. Now we're gonna find the voltage. So let's update the circuit. So this is current, current one is two, current two is of course two, and current three is of course two. Now what is the voltage? Voltage is current times resistance. What does that mean? The voltage is two to four, two times two is four. So voltage one is four. So I'm gonna write it here. Voltage one is four, voltage two is eight, and voltage three would be 12. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write 
four, and then I'm gonna write eight, and then I'm gonna write 12. So 12 plus 12, 24, we started with 24. Now I'm gonna show you the voltage drops. Now this guy gets 24, all right? And it consumes how much? It consumes, this guy gets 24 and it consumes four, it releases 20. All right, so this guy get uh, how much? 20, it consumes how much? Eight, and it releases 12. This guy get 12, it consumes 12, and it releases zero. This is called voltage drops. Now, you can check downside by, okay, so that's it. Now I'm gonna do this parallel circuit. With the same information, what information? with the 24 voltage, two, uh, two, three resistors, one is two ohms, one is four ohms, and one is, of course, six ohms. All right, now, you gonna, I want you to draw a long rectangle. Why is that? Is because this is not a series circuit, 24 volt, and then I have the bulb number one, I have the bulb number two, and finally, I have the bulb number three. Bulb number one is, of course, two. We're gonna use the same thing. Bulb number two, we're gonna use, of course, the same thing, four ohms. And bulb number three, we're gonna use, of course, six ohms. Now, I'm gonna create the table, just like the last time. So the table, I have bulb. How many bulb I have? One, two, three. They are in a parallel relationship. So one, two, and three. And this is, of course, total. All right, so the format is same. Why I'm making the format same? So that you get to do a comparison whether the series circuit is good or the parallel circuit is good. So V, I, R, of course. Now, if I get to look, check over there, I have to do the math. So the math tells us one over R is equal to, I have to find the equivalence resistance. So one over two plus one over four plus one over six. Three resistors, I have to add them. So one over R is equal to uh, two, four, six. Two, four, six, what, what is the LCD? So you get, Two goes to two once, two goes to four twice, two goes to six three times, so 12. Two goes to 12 six times, four goes to 12 three times, and six goes to 12 two times. So one over R is equal to 11 over 12. So now you have cross multiplication. R, 11 R is equal to 12. R is equal to 12 over 11, which is 1.09, of course. So now, if you do write two plus four plus six, of course your grandma will tell you 12, but you know, this is no grandma business. This is a parallel circuit. This is 1.092 plus four plus six, 1.09. Welcome to parallel circuit, by the way. Now current, um, before we do the current, we have to do the easiest thing. What is the easiest thing for a parallel circuit? Of course, the voltage, you, you know, this is better, this is cheaper than McDonald's for parallel circuit, okay, good. Now you're gonna get to do the current. So first, you're gonna write what you don't know. So this is, resist this is resistance two, so what do you know? Voltage is 24, voltage is 24, and voltage is what? 24. Now Ohm's law tells us, remember what Ohm's law tells us? V, I, and R. Now you wanna find the I, I is V over R. That means V is 24, one, of course, 24 divided by two is uh, 12. I two is 24 divided by four is six. I three is equal to 24 divided by six is four. Now I'm gonna update this table. I one is 12, I two is six, I three is four. This has to be 22. Let's see, it is indeed. So this is your parallel circuit parallel circuit, now you're gonna to get to compare the table uh, from series circuit coming from the same input 
and cable on the parallel circuit coming from the same input. So input, it, all right, so one thing you should notice that same input not necessarily give you the same output. There is no equality business here, okay? So you get different output for same input.